We explain the 1944 season. In 1944, women continued to work for the war effort. Olvida Kolb Hobby led the wax, and Fannie Lou Hamer was married and began toiling on Marlowe's plantation, which would set the stage for her fight against future injustice. Virginia Coleman graduated and started work as a chemist at the Oak Ridge, Tennessee facility, the one that helped separate the uranium that would go into the atomic bomb. Actresses like Marlena Dietrich helped the war effort by using her German heritage to record popular songs that were secretly sent to the Axis. She also served in USO shows and helped raise bond money. The All-American Girls Professional Baseball League headed into its sophomore season with a boost from its Season 1 popularity. The first year had been so successful that the four towns that housed the league took over the finances of the teams. With the new financial freedom, Philip Wrigley could pursue his goal of installing teams in major league venues. So he, Branch Rickey, and Paul Harper financed the expansion of two new teams, the Milwaukee Chicks and the Minneapolis Millerettes. Future Hall of Famer Max Carey was installed as coach of the Chicks, and Bubba Gennard was assigned to Minneapolis. Due to travel restrictions, the league also moved spring training to Peru, Illinois, which allowed for the housing of 120 girls between two hotels, games to be played on three fields, recreation time in a pool and a gym. It also allowed for the local Ruth Tiffany School to continue the daily training of the women in being the girl next door. How to walk, how to sit, how to talk, how to groom, how to meet the 1940s ideal of feminine. Of the 120 women who came to Peru, 90 would be chosen to play on the 16s. The season would open on May 27, 1944. Wrigley's experiment of placing the two new teams in minor league stadiums proved to be a mixed bag. The Chicks were placed in Bochard Field, home of the Brewers, and the Millerettes played at Nicolette, home of the Millers. Chicks would make their way to the championship, while the Millerettes would play most games on the road with a losing streak and become branded as the Orphans. The new teams had a limited fan base due to being placed in larger cities with multiple options for entertainment, including the men's games. It was also hard to get close to fans with the bigger separation, unlike the small town teams. People complained about the price of a 95 cent ticket, the fields were larger and harder to play softball style on, big city media ignored the games, and Wrigley's gimmicks didn't bring in the crowds. <laughs> 